Hey everybody, I'm here with Jen Briere, and Jen took our PDC last year in Guelph, Ontario, and is now actively starting to build her own permaculture company. So Jen was trained in architecture, she worked in interior design, mostly in interior design for commercial applications, and so she comes to permaculture with a really interesting skill set. Um, a skill set of design. She was trained in design and now she is incorporating some of these concepts into to what she does. Um, and today we're going to talk to her a little bit about what, what she's doing and you know, what life was like before she took the PDC, how the, P the PDC may have transformed the way that she looks at the world, um, and uh, just generally where, how she's going to be using it going on in the future. So, hey Jen, how you doing? Good, thanks Rob, how are you? Awesome. So can you tell me a little bit about what life was like before you took the design course? Yeah, for sure. So I graduated uh, with my bachelor's in architecture about seven years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and then for like the last six years, uh, I was working in uh, retail, more so interior design, less architecture, more interior design. Um, and it was a great experience. Um, you know, I was fresh out of school. I was for the first time uh, applying uh, all my academic stuff to, to the real world, um, I had the phenomenal opportunity to be working for what was then a more or less startup company. Um, so I really got a good uh, base of, you know, kind of what a startup business looks like. Um, and I was given a lot of responsibility, which was uh, an incredible uh, situation to be in. Um, where I was fresh out of school, I really didn't know anything, and I was essentially running um, the design department for, for this company. Um, and it was amazing. And that was uh, six years went by very quickly. Um, but six years also passed, and I started to realize that maybe this was not what I wanted to do long term. Um, specifically, uh, I was gaining a lot of experience in the commercial side, I enjoyed it, but I could also see. Um, the executives that were you know above me or the directors and kind of what their lives were like and to say okay in 20 years and 10 years maybe that's where i'll be and that's not really where i want it to be um and so that scared me and i didn't know you know have i just uh been working through this for nothing you know maybe do i even want to be studying architecture or interior design maybe i don't want to have anything to do with this um but it is it was very clear that i have always had a passion for design and i always will um, and through those six years while I was working, um, I was struggling with a lot of digestive issues, um, some health concerns, a lot of just internal health. Um, so I was at every moment I could get, I was researching, you know, digestion, food intolerances, allergies, all these things. Um, even when, you know, my lunch break at work all day, I was just looking into this stuff. I modified my diet more times than, than you could imagine. I was that person at work that, you know, would come in every day with like some weird thing and like some weird cleanse and like, you know, people would just laugh. But, you know, some days I would come in and just eat 10 bananas or, you know, 10 watermelons or just <laughs> trying to do mono food to, to help my digestion. I did it all. Yeah. Um, but it came, I started to hear more often, you know, the word permaculture and, you know, eating locally and, and all these things that um, will improve your health and uh, improving your microbiome. Um, and so obviously permaculture came up often enough that I eventually took um, a little kind of two week primer in Ecuador uh, in 2000 and. Oh, when was this? About three years ago, anyways. Hmm. Um, and that just kind of introduced me to permaculture. It was very loose. It was not technical. Um, it was a bit more on the spiritual side, I think, of permaculture. We did a lot of, you know, uh, sacred plantings and sacred geometries, that type of work. Uh, but that really got me interested in what permaculture could have to offer. So a few years later, um, I was in the position where I needed to relocate. Uh, my husband was working elsewhere. Uh, it was just a, the opportunity to, to make a break from the job I had before. Uh, it was a tough decision, but it was one that I knew that I had to make. Um, and that really just gave me the opportunity to, to explore permaculture fully and, and to take my PDC. So, yeah, that was a bit of the transition, I guess. Mm -hmm. So what was your biggest struggle before? I mean, was it your health? Was that the biggest thing that you were struggling with before you took the program or... 
how to define your career? Like what was the thing that, what was the itch that got you to take the leap? Yeah, a bit of everything. But if I had to put it on one thing, I think it was probably my career because I was just so scared. I've always been very academically driven, uh, very, you know, invest my entire self in my work, my project, whatever I do. So to ha suddenly be removed from that, to actually be unemployed for mo many months and not know what direction I wanted to go in, I knew I had to find something. Um, and permaculture felt like it was the thing I had to do, but I didn't know until I took the PDC. Mm. Um, so that, that fear, I think, of not knowing what I was going to do was really what was driving me to, uh, to enroll. Yeah. What was the consequence of that fear? I mean, how did it feel? It was paralyzing, honestly. <laughs> I think when I moved, um, I relocated provinces, and I just for for a while I kind of gave myself that that time of like, okay, you know, I I never took a break before university. I never took a break after university. I guess I'll give myself that break now. Uh, so I kind of gave myself this time to relax and figure out what it is I wanted to do, but it really, it like paralyzed me for longer than I thought it would. It was just very overwhelming, all the possibilities that I could do. It was all of a sudden this blank slate. Um, and I come from a creative background. So the creativity was overwhelming. You know, I can do this or this or this. And it was, you know, to the point where there was so much I could do that I just did nothing. Mm -hmm. And so there were just months would go by. Um, and that just scared me more that I was just not doing anything. Right. So, yeah, it was a lot of mental struggle yeah totally so how did the PDC help you overcome that struggle well it confirmed that permaculture was the route uh, that I wanted to take um, it specifically your PDC because I did research multiple PDCs and I chose um, Verge's PDC because you come from such a technical background and I knew that that was the structure that I needed, especially if I wanted to jumpstart uh, a new career, just a new interest path. I needed that structure. Um, and so that's why I chose yours and it, that it provided exactly what I could have hoped for and more. Um, it really gave processes, which I love. I love a good process and I love, you know, having systems and you really, uh, provide that and and that's what I needed so yeah. so how do you look at your life differently now um <clears throat> I think that one thing that I really appreciate that you touched on in the PDC was just actively looking for solutions mm. one thing that is I'm very aware of now in conversation with people is just the amount that we talk about the problems and we, and we love it. <laughs> and, you know, in a way we, I think we feel like it brings us together, you know, be it the weather or how crap the weather is, or be it the politics or, you know, the climate change or all these things. And we love to complain about it, but we don't really actively talk about solutions. And if we do talk about solutions, it's more like, Oh, the government's not, you know, this was their solution but they're not actually rolling it out or, you know, this corporation, this is their solution. Uh, you may or may not agree with it. Um, but you know, it's always this very removed solution from yourself. Mm. Whereas you really focused on what is it that we individually can do every day? Uh, right. Stop focusing on those, um, the problems and just actively start thinking about what we can do. So right. that I foresee my future being very, um, involved with that or just and you, you can't unlearn that <laughs> it's always with me every day now it's I'm always thinking about anytime I hear someone complain or myself complain it's, you know what how can I solve this without you know just sitting here whining <laughs> right. so I'm gonna put you on the spot here what were your top what was the top three insights from the program that you had mm -hmm. there were so many <sighs> um, so I think the biggest one since I did touch on that, that food and I, and I did have health and digestive stuff um, was a big problem for me. And I know that this was more of an aside for you in your, in your course, um, but diet and eating for your climate zone was a huge <clears throat> thing for me. Um, I think that was only like maybe a 20 minute thing that we spoke about the whole course, but that just hit such a chord for me since I've tried every combination of options out there but I hadn't really 
been diving into local <clears throat> and not only local, but just for my climate. Mm. Um, and that just made so much sense. I think at the time of the course, I was just um, coming out of being vegan for almost four years. And I love being vegan and I love people who, who support that. Um, but it just wasn't doing uh, for my health what it needed to do. Um, and so, and then I realized, you know, all the stuff that I was eating, avocados, coconut, all these things that were being shipped from far away, um, uh, were just not, you know, sustainable and nor regenerative for, for my area in, um, Northern Ontario. So that really spearheaded that for me. Uh, when I returned home, I really started to look further into, um, local food and what does that look like? I don't even know what that looks like for, you know, a Canadian diet or Northern Canadian diet. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's helped tremendously with with my digestion so huh. very thankful for that cool and yeah. uh, any other insights two other insights just yeah. to on the spot a little bit more yeah yeah um you said the solution so we can kind of take that as one so yeah. one last one would be um i think that like this is kind of similar to the other one but the fact that we never talk about what the best force is that in the world. And we often always talk about the most negative. Um, and one thing that a specific thing that you had said was that um, if we, if humans are only able to be destructive, then we are not of this planet. So, and so if we do, if individually, and that's a personal opinion, uh, if you think that we are of this planet or of this world or of this ecosystem, then we must be able to have a very positive impact on it. And what is that? And as humans in our century, I don't think we've explored that. And what does that look like? Mm. Uh, so I found that very profound um, and a great sort of movement to help move that forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious, um, who do you think would benefit from taking this program? Um, well, I'm sure everyone says everyone, I mean, it's true, <laughs> but I think just c from the mind frame that I was coming from, and I don't want to scare off anyone who is not this way. As I said, I think everyone would benefit, but e people would benefit even more who are a bit more technical with their learning um, or do want that structure um, or that um, sort of it, I don't want to say that the way you taught was a more engineering way, but it was more technical. You had more details, which I love. Um, and it really supported that. So I think, you know, if there are people that are debating between different PDCs and there's one that is a bit more uh, spiritual, that is a bit more focused around, uh, you know, maybe your personal involvement with nature versus uh, your PDC, Rob, which you incorporate some of that, but also you focus on a lot of uh, uh, construction details, a lot of very functional, very applicable things that you can go out and do right away, that you can do for your own house, for clients, especially for a business. I found that very applicable. Um, yeah, but really everyone. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. And I mean, we're, we're actually going to be chatting a little bit about your design business offline after this, but, um, so you're already starting to use this in, and, uh, in building your own, your own business. But I'm curious, is that what you see doing over the next five years, continuing down that path? Yeah, absolutely. I hope so. Anyways, um, I've got my first, uh, project this summer. Um, it's just like a little, a little thing for a friend so it's nothing too serious but i think that once i get a couple of those under my belt i'll feel more confident um and absolutely like that's where i foresee uh applying my design knowledge um to in the future and it's something that i know will benefit me and my own health and the health of my family um and to be able to share that with other people would be fantastic awesome jen thanks so much for sharing your story do you have any final words uh, I mean, just everything that Rob, that you and Verge have, have provided has been invaluable. Your, everything that you teach and just the support that you provide is incredible. Um, and I could not have asked for, for a better PDC. It's it fantastic. Thanks, Jen. I appreciate that. So if you guys found Jen's story interesting and, um, and inspiring and you want to get in touch with her, um, she's in Northern Ontario, but I think you guys may be moving at some point. You never know with your husband's job. but. Yeah. Um, if you want to get in touch with her, you can get in touch with me and I'll, I'll connect the two of you. 
Um, if you have any comments, please leave your comments in the show notes below. And if you haven't hit subscribe, hit the like button and uh, you'll get updates of other grads who have uh, gone down similar paths as well as all of our other YouTube videos. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.